Cool. Yep. So, welcome to that American Football Show, powered by EP Sports. EP Sports is the top supplier in the UK for all of your American football needs, helping players and coaches re- reach their potential since 2007. Check them out at epsports.co.uk. Today, we've got another guest from the European League of Football joining me and Craig. We're delighted to welcome Rainbow Shobolale, MVP of the 2018 Brit Bowl and current Leipzig Kings running back. How are you doing this morning? I'm great, thank you. You've done your research. <laughs> I have indeed. I have indeed. So one thing, I'm, that's why they keep me around. I, I do my research. Um, I actually watched some of your highlights as well. And oh. damn, people can't tackle you. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'm not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so first things first, tell us about your journey. Obviously, you played football in the UK to playing in Europe now with the Leipzig Kings. How did it start and how did you get to Germany? It started. Um, it started from when I got to uni. Actually, um, one of my one of the coaches just grabbed me and said, "You look like you can play football." Um, okay, so I got to thank him for getting me where I'm right now. Um, but yeah, it started off with uni. Um, then I started playing for the senior teams. So I started off at London Olympians. So then um, went through a couple other teams. I'm not going to name them. Um, then I ended up at Warriors. Um, and then that's when my career took off, uh, where obviously I went to the NFL Combine, CFL Combine. Um, then I played in Finland, done a speak able, won the, won the championship there. Now I'm in Leipzig now. So, yeah. I've got to ask you, why is it called a spaghetti bowl? It's Finland. I, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> they, they're a bit... They're different. I, I don't know yeah. why, why it was called to get you off. So. Yeah, when I, was, when I was doing my research, I was like, I thought he was playing for a Finnish team, Spaghetti Bowl. Surely that's Italian, <laughs> but yeah, okay, yeah. fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> so probably a silly question, but are you as excited as we are for the launch of the, the European League of Football? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm ecstatic because gives me a, another opportunity to show what I've got but at a much higher level now, you know? So, um, yeah, I just, I can't wait to put on a show for everybody, uh, show what my team got. So, yeah. I think it's, it's so different to other leagues, obviously, because it's in Europe and we've had a few guys, we've done a lot of research into the league, spoke to quite a few people. It seems a lot more professional. Some of, uh, it's not in you know, disrespect to some of the amateur leagues, but it does actually seem professional in the way they've done things, their media setup, players they've got yeah. in, um, and everyone seems to be very impressed with the setup that they've got their training wise as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's it's really professional. Um, obviously, starting in London, it's not as professional, but with the Warriors, it we we take the professional side very seriously. So yeah. um, going into these different leagues, I noticed there was a change, but it wasn't something that I wasn't used to. But here in, um, in the ELF, it's more professional in terms of, obviously, there's a schedule for everything. Yeah. So um, it's more structured. So I've got gym in the morning, uh, practice in the evenings, then it might repeat that like three, four times a week. So um, gets your body more in shape. Because you know mm-hmm. in London, you know you, you're not. They don't beg you to go to the gym. Like, you you got to do it off your own your own back. So yeah, yes, that's what it is. I remember back a long time ago when I played, and uh, we had an American quarterback come in. Yeah. And obviously, everyone's got jobs. It used to be you played on a Sunday, you practice one day a week, and they were like, mm-hmm. right, we need to practice more. And the guys were yeah. all like, well, I'm doing a night shift. I can't. And they didn't <laughs> really understand that back in the day that this was just an amateur sport and it was just yeah. people structuring it around their lives. Where I think, because Craig's a coach in one of the uni teams, and I think mm-hmm. things have come on leaps and bounds for, even for uni teams in kind of terms of coaching setup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, co- coaching stuff that, that I've seen and been around, um, obviously everybody knows the Warriors, not the, the most likable organisation, but... <laughs> I, I, I said the same thing before I even went down. I was like, I don't really want to go there. But when I went there, I saw, mm-hmm. okay, okay, so everything's professional here. It's, it's a great setup. 
and it's a great way to try to elevate your your game because everybody's trying to fight to be the best and why not be in the best place for that you know yeah so i said i'm gonna go and make this move so with american players that you've got over there in leipzig are they being surprised with the knowledge and enthusiasm of european fans because i think friends i've got in america are always surprised yeah. when i start talking football with them i've been a football fan for like 25 years so i know the ins and outs yeah, yeah, especially yeah. the raiders and i think americans don't realize how how knowledgeable we are yeah no um they always ask oh wait do you guys have a fan base in london uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> we have games there, <laughs> yeah. um, but when they when they when I told them, oh yeah, I played from uni. Um, there's people people that have been playing from uh from like the age of like fifteen, and they're like, okay, so you guys really got it set up, yeah. But it's obviously not as on the, on the scale like you guys, you know. Not everybody knows about American football in in London, so or in the UK. So um, yeah, they, they're they're quite surprised with the knowledge that we've got. Mm. Um, and obviously that we can actually compete with them as well. Yeah. So why not? Why not? Why not? Um, you know, show them what we got. Definitely. Um, I think I was the I was the same way. I got recruited in in university. Walking through, um, it was like the what they called like we're a convention centre when he had all the little stalls on for the sports teams and stuff. And I yeah. think one of the players at the time, Tommy, just sort of pulled me up and when you're a big guy. Um, you know, come, come sign off. You look like you you run into a few people, and it just kind of took it from there. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, anyway. Uh, so what what differences have you have you seen between the the ELF and and the other leagues that that you've played in so far? Um, well, of course, there's no games at the moment, so I can't really speak on the games. But um, it's just more it's more the, the structure. Um, like I said, you don't have structure in in the UK. Um, you got to do everything yourself or have a group of guys that want to do the same thing, like all like-minded. But here, it's everybody has to get up at a certain time and get ready to go and work out. And then we've got to come back, have our breakfast, get ready to, you know, get on the playbook. Everybody here is trying to make sure that their football IQ is as high as they can get before the first game. So um, I've got one of my old linemen. He just He's been on my back. Like, listen, let's 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 um go to the into the meeting room. Let's go and have a let's go and go through plays. And I'm not used to all of this sort of stuff in in the UK. So for me, it's refreshing. It's like he wants he wants to win. So and he's from Norway, but it's like you got you got to be willing to take a lot of your time to be the best, which is what the UK don't have. So yeah. um yeah. That's all it is. Definitely. Um, so, like, in terms of the preparation so far, obviously, with it being a new league, there's very very little to no film available for you guys at the moment, so it must be yeah. be tough to sort of prepare for, for, your, for your debut game. Like, sort of what... Is there anything in particular that you've sort of been looking into or any sort of... Like, what sort of avenues have you been going down to, to prepare for your first game? Um, so, what it is, we've just been trying to go through basic fundamentals um because nobody has film on all these teams yet so um it's literally just trying to go through fundamentals and making sure that we're clinical on our side of the, of, of the ball so um we're at practice i've got practice tomorrow so we're at practice we don't have a game plan because there's nothing to game plan for yeah so we're just doing the basics you know just trying to make sure that what was on point you know that's what we it just is. do do what you do well yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice. No, it's, it's tough, it's tough. It's just, you know, it's just a hearsay. Um, we know of this guy or this player, or this, te- this team's uh, philosophy. So let's try and work around that. But it's, it's hard to do that because it's just everything's brand new. Yeah. So of the players, you mentioned one of your old linemen there. Any of the players on Leipzig or any of the other teams you think we should be looking out for people watching the games? You, you guys already know the names. You know, there's, we got Anthony Devil on the team. Uh, we got Alpha Jalla. We got um, we got Timothy. Um, my whole receiver core is just mental. Like I'm watching them at practice thinking, damn, <laughs> this is going to be a problem. 
Um, I've got my, 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 my running back. We've got a duo, me and Jason. Um, he's another beast. Um, it's nice to have like that energy to bounce off. Yeah. But yeah, my, my whole team, we we we've got some we've got some dogs, but we've got to wait till the first game to see all of that. Looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. So uh, you know, obviously there's there's only I think it's eight teams at the it is eight teams at the moment. Um what other cities around Europe would you would you like to see have teams in, in the ELF and is there um, any particular that you'd maybe like to go and go and go and visit? Look forward to an away game. I'm always gonna put my, my city, my city and my team. I, I wouldn't have words to have a have a team. I need them to have a team. Uh, we we we've done everything in, in Europe, actually in, in the UK. We need to we need to branch. So if that comes along, I'm there. That's where I'm going. I'm gonna stay in my hometown and do the job from there. That's interesting. So you just directly put the Warriors into the league rather than creating, say, uh, the Monarchs, bring back the Monarchs. You would just literally have the Warriors then. Yeah, I, I could I could say just that bring every player from the UK and yeah, that would be nice. Because yeah. I know how my team works. Yeah. I can't I can't talk for anybody else. So my team, we we can do the job. I know we can we can we can hang with these guys. Like all of us, we have so much experience coaching players, even our youth, they're, they're going crazy right now. So, yeah. Um, I think I'll as well, you know, like you said about the new teams, the setup is already there. They've got, you've got players that have played with each other. I'm yeah. going to let Craig pronounce this one because I can't, because the team from Poland, Craig. Wroclaw Panthers. They, yeah. they were an existing team, so they have yeah, practiced yeah. that for about a week trying to pronounce <laughs> that. Uh, they've got the existing team so yeah i think they're gonna have a bit of an advantage going in early but like you said that's interesting you said you'd rather have the warriors going in okay i can't <laughs> I, I can't fool my team i can't yeah they've they, they, they brought me so far so there's only they've, they've got so much more to, to offer to these other kids that are coming in so i'm i'm I, 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 if they do it i can't wait i'm, I'm there 100%. I, I can see the argument for that. I guess with them, mm-hmm. the, the, the structure is already there for the mm-hmm. most part in, in, is in place rather than, yeah. than starting off from scratch. So, yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> so, moving away from the AFL, who's your NFL team? Um, if, if I was to pick a team, because I, I follow everybody, um, but if I was to pick a team, uh, it would be the Rams. But that's because... Okay. I like the city. Um, I've been there so many times, so I just thought, let me just support the town I've been to the most, well, the city I've been to the most. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just been watching their journey, watching the, the draw. Um, got my eyes on Acres right now. It's, you know, they're they they they're a great team. It's just you know, I can't I can't fault them right now. They're, they're, it's, it's my team. I can't you know that's what it is. New quarterback as well, looking good for next season. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm hoping we get somewhere, get somewhere good. But you never know with it, with with the, with the NFL, everything's it's a, it's a gamble. So, do, do you have any favorite NFL players, past or present? And um, are there any players yeah. that you try to, to an extent, model your game after? Yeah. So I started off, um, with obviously Adrian Peterson. Um, that was my go-to guy. Um, I thought I can be just like him because he seemed like, I feel like I've got the same physique as him. Um, then I started watching um, Beast Mode, so Marshawn mm-hmm. Lynch. Yeah. I said, okay, yeah, this is this is it. This is it. They're both very, very similar, but one's just more downhill than the other. That's all it is. Um, but yeah, those are my those are my two go-to guys that I follow and watch all the time. So. I was watching, there's a video on YouTube, I didn't see it, Marshawn Lynch when he came to Scotland. It's an old skittle lad that he did before. <laughs> and that is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I can just imagine there's a as an outtake as well when there's a wheelie down the high street of Stirling. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. a bus. Have you seen that one? My guy's <laughs> mental. Unbelievable. No, he, he's he's a, a literally comedy to watch. Because um, when I saw the clip, I was watching, I was reading the comments. And people were saying, why is he so, he's so stupid? Like, is the bus coming? I'm like, yo, 
he's he's having fun, you know. Like he's, yeah. just, he's having fun. Um, but yeah, no, Marshall Lynch, he's yeah, he's a he's a real real, real funny guy. Like, it's, it's not fake because there's a video of him when he was in high school. And he yeah, sounds yeah. exactly the same as he did when he was in the pros. Yeah. And he's going on about his old lineman and how he's going to take him out to Sizzler. And uh, no, he's no. really funny. So, yeah. And when he was in, that was, he wasn't at his best when he played for the Raiders, but really yeah. enjoyed watching him. And I think, Craig, you've got, is it signed to Marshall Lynch helmet? Yeah, yeah, little Raiders one, yeah. Oh, yeah, nah. I need to get some side match in there somehow. Oh, you want to get, get on lockdown, Lids, mate? Yeah. They, they oh, yeah. do draws all the time, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've got, I got to find a way to get on there then. Yeah, I quite like the video of him. Was it his high school, when he went back to his high school? When he was, <laughs> um, he missed that game, went back for the high school practice. He was just running around taking all the kids out. It was quite funny. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, 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 he's nuts. He's real nuts. Like, and that's just his character. Like, you can't, you can't, you got to love him. We really do. Cool. Well, I think that's all the questions we've got there. So thank you very much for coming on, Ray, and really good luck with the next season in the EFL. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks for, thanks for having me on the show. You're very welcome. On. So thanks to Ray Shabwali for coming on, and thanks for listening. Make sure you head over and check out our friends at EP Sports for any of your NFL or equipment needs. And don't forget, you can check us out on our socials, which are on Twitter, it is Tafs underscore UK. You can also find us on Facebook. If you just look up that American football show, you should find us. And we're on Instagram. Again, it's Tafs underscore UK. You can find us on there. We've also got a YouTube channel now. We've got videos going out. So if you just throw in that American football show, you should find us on there. And we'll see you all next time. Clear eyes, full hearts. Head down, eyes closed, can't lose. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.